What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So what I wanted to do was talk to you about uh, why I have so many credit cards. There are a lot of credit cards that I don't have here just because um, sometimes I open an account and I'll go through the motions of getting the bonuses and then I'll cut them up. So um, I don't have all of them here, but I do have a significant amount of credit cards. So I wanted to go over with you why I have so many credit cards um, and hopefully you can understand why you should have multiple accounts, why credit bureaus uh, like when you have multiple accounts. So before we get into the detail, if you can give this video a thumbs up, also if you can comment down below, hit that subscribe button and notification button so you never miss out on anything that I post. I'm doing a giveaway when I hit my thousand subscriber mark, so definitely don't miss out on your opportunity. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you're entered. So definitely look forward to that and definitely put your name in the hat. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So like I said before, um, I have so many credit cards and there's a reason why I have so many credit cards and I don't plan on minimizing the amount of credit cards that I have or open accounts that I have. Um, I do want to gain more credit cards, but as I gain more credit cards, sometimes I cut some up that become irrelevant. So I have some for each individual category. A lot of people want to make sure they get the most percentage back, um, but you also want to make sure you get things from different areas. Um, so for me, obviously I want the most percentage back, but I also want travel. Um, I want a lot of things. So to look at how many credit cards I own, I own um, seven credit cards that are in my hand right now. Um, a lot of other ones I cut up, like I said before, because of the fact that you know they overlap but the account still stays open just so that I have that open account so my credit score will stay at the same level it is, if not increase. I carry around my American Express for travel purchases. If you haven't seen the American Express video, I can definitely put a link down below. I definitely love this credit card for multiple reasons. So whenever I go out dining or I go to supermarkets, I know I can get four times back on that. So that's what I mainly use that for. I really don't use it for anything else. Um, especially when I go eat fast food, because if we want um, some sort of fast food, I get four times back on that. The next card that I own is the Lowe's credit card. I went over that before because I get 5% back on my Lowe's purchases. And I go to Lowe's a lot, um, just because one, uh, Lowe's is really close to me. I would go to Home Depot if Home Depot was closer to me, but it just all depends what's closer to me. And I can get 5% back for Lowe's, so I might as well have their credit card. So that's another reason why I have it. Um, I also carry that one around in my wallet so it's not just sitting at home. Another one is the Discover It card. I get 2% back and then 5% back in revolving categories. So um, I definitely love that card and that's the reason why I have it. Just so that I can get 2% off because 2% off is one of the higher percentages. I mean, they have other ones that have 1.5, 1.8, things like that. The next two cards are my PSECU credit cards and they speak for themselves. I mean, I love the Founders card, the Classic card. They're just two of my favorite cards. I just keep them with me and keep them available. I don't keep them on my person, but I do have them. So I usually keep them like at home or something like that, but it's not something I carry around all the time. The other two I also went over before is the Amazon Prime card and then also the Capital One Quicksilver card. So all of these seven cards, I have them there for a reason. Um, you know, whether I want supermarket purchase, whether I want to go buy a bike, anything, I know exactly what card I'm going to use. So there needs to be a reason why you have all these cards. Um, like I said, I have them just to be able to get all these different percentages off and then also gain more rewards points, whatever, whatever it may be. So to sum this all up, I mean, I have seven credit cards. Um, I love all of these credit cards and I use them all the time. So it's not like no balance is going on any of these credit cards. Um, so there are a lot of people out there that say that you should only have one or two credit cards. But I mean, if the credit bureau is saying I need basically 30 accounts to be considered good in that category, um, this is only one area to where you need to be. Obviously I have student loans, I have other loans. So um, in total, I have more than 30 accounts. So to sum it all up, I use all seven credit cards and there's a reason why I use all seven credit cards. Like I've said before, um, there's tons of value in having multiple credit cards because you gain percentages off every single place that you shop and you have to make sure that you get something back. If you're going to go purchase something um, or if you have to buy something, um, you might as well get money back because... I mean, you have to care about yourself at some point, right? So um, a lot of times I'll get cash back and I'll treat it as a bonus for myself. 
and go and buy me like maybe a watch or something like that or go and buy me maybe a couple of shirts, maybe some pants, something. Basically treat myself because I know that I'm doing the right thing. There are a lot of people out there that spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on products and then they don't get anything in return. So always make sure you get everything in return, whether it's groceries, um, whether it's dining, you know, whether you're at Target, anything, um, always make sure you're getting something in return. And that's what I like to do. So very short video, guys. Very, very short video. This is basically to go over why I have so many cards and the benefits of having so many cards. It's not really a negative to have so many cards nowadays. So definitely look at it as a positive. Again, I really appreciate everybody who views my content. Thank you for coming through. If you can, give this video a like. Also, if you can comment down below, hit that subscribe button and that little notification button so you never miss out on anything that I post. Like I said before, I'm doing a giveaway when I reach my thousand subscriber mark, so definitely put your name in the hat for that. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you'll be entered in there. So again, thank you for coming through. Thank you for viewing my video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.